I cannot know. I cannot know what this land means to other people. For me, it is my birthplace, this little nation of race. I flames the world of my childhood, rocking in the distance. I grew out of her, like a tender branch from a tree. And I hope one day, my body will sink into her. I am at home, and if a shrub happens to kneel down beside my foot, I know both its name and its flower. I know who walks on the road, and where they are going, and what it might mean within the summer sunset. The house walls shimmer and drip with crimson agony for one who flies above this land is merely a map, and does not know where lived for Marty Mahalley. What does this map hold for him, factories and wild barracks? But for me crickets, oxen, steeples, peaceful homesteads, he sees factories in his lances and cultivated meadows. While I see the worker too, who for his work trembles forests, hanging orchards, grapes, and cemeteries. Among the graves an old woman who quietly weeps, and what seen from above train tracks to destroy. Is a conductor's house, and he stands outside and signals many kids surround him a red flag in his hand. And in the courtyard a commander rolls in the sand, and there's the park the footsteps of long lost loves. The kisses on my mouth both honey and cranberry, and walking off to school on the edge of the road. To avoid being called out I stepped on a stone, look here's the stone, but from above this cannot be seen. There is no machine with which all this can be revealed. For we are guilty too, as other peoples are knowing full well, when and how and why we've sinned so far. But workers live here too, and poets without sin and tiny babies in whom intellect will flourish. It shines in them, and they got it hiding in dark stars until the finger of peace once again marks our nation. And with fresh voices they will answer our muffled words, cover us with your big wings vigil keeping evening cloud.